Hello students. So today we are going to start with our H parameters. So now when we are going to define the H parameters, our V1, that is the voltage of the input port and the current of the output port will be taken as the dependent variables. So now we are going to write down the equations in forms of V1 and I2 as the dependent variables and they will be depending upon current of the input port and the voltage of the output port. So this is how we are going to write down the H parameters, definitions and equations. So this is my H11, this is H12, this is H21 and this is H22. Now let's define all the H parameters. So for H11, just see here, this is 11 and from this value, you are going to get V1 upon I1, make this thing equal to zero by equating V2 equals to zero. Similarly, we will be defining H21. For H21, consider only this portion and make this equals to zero. So this will be your I2 upon I1 for V2 equals to zero. Now we are going to define the rest of the parameters that is H12. H12 we are going to define by taking care of this and this value equating I1 equals to zero. So this will become V1 upon V2 by making I1 equals to zero. Similarly, the value of H22 will be equal to equating this and this will give me the value of I2 upon V2 again for I1 equals to zero. Now just pay attention to one thing that here all the parameters are different. Like we did in your Z parameters, all the parameters came in terms of impedance and it was equal to V upon I for Z11 till Z22. Similarly, for our admittance parameters, all the parameters came in terms of I upon V. But this is not the case with the H parameters. If you check V1 upon I1, you are going to see that we are getting ohms here. Here we are getting more here. So that means this is impedance, this is admittance, but this is voltage gain and this becomes the current gain. So because all the parameters are different from one another, that is why the name hybrid is given to them. And they are best suited to define the transistor model. To draw the transistor model, we always use the hybrid parameters because it defines all the parameters of transistors. One more thing that you should check here is that when V2 equals to zero, when V2 equals to zero, that means our these terminals, that is the output terminals will be shorted. And when I1 is equals to zero, that means our these terminals will be open. So that means when we are going to find this set of parameters, the term input terminals should be open. And while we are going to find our this pair of terminals, then uh, parameters, then we have to short circuit our output parameter output terminals so now we come on to the hybrid model so now we are going to draw the model of the h parameters so just you have to see here that this two are equal to voltage so voltage you all should remember that voltage gets divided in a series circuit so that means your this equation is going to that is the input port equation will give you the series combination of h11 because i1 current is coming here and this is my v1 voltage at the input port so this will be my h11 here and this is my voltage dependent voltage source so that means this will be a diamond shape and so the polarity like this. Now you have to check on this equation that your these two terms are a combination in terms of current. So current divides in a parallel combination. So this we did as we did in our Z parameters. And now this we are going to do as we draw the Y model. So that means current divides in parallel and here you have got your H22 and V2 at this side. So this becomes your V22, sorry, V2 here. And sorry, this is, this is your V2 and this is your I2. So this becomes your H22 here. 
and now this becomes your current dependent current source that is depending upon the value of current of the input port so that is h21 i1 so this becomes your output port model and this is your input port so this is how you draw your h parameters equivalent model so this sometimes come in your exams also moreover it is helpful for drawing the transistor model also so now we come on to our first numerical of hybrid parameters this we have taken the same as we did in our z as well as the y parameters it is the same numerical now you have to just see that when we are going to make v2 equals to 0 our this terminal is going to get shorted as it will get shorted you have to see through the eyes of the current that this current is now going to find a 0 ohms path and a 4 ohms path so what it will do our this 4 ohm resistor will not be taken into account and so i have drawn the circuit again like this after shorting the 4 ohms resistor right so now we have to find the value of V1. So if you just see here that V1 will be equal to, it gets divided into two parts. So this makes two in parallel with two plus one. So two in parallel with two will be one only. So that gives me the value of two. So this whole multiplied by I1 will give me the value of V1. So here I will get two I1 upon I1 and so it cancels out and I will get 2 ohms as the value. So now I am going to find out the value of I2 in terms of I1, right? As we did in our Y parameters. So you can see here that this current I1 is getting divided into two half paths. So that means I1 by 2 will go. It will be I1 by 2. But just check the direction of I2 and the part of I1 that is coming here. Let's say that is Ix. So that makes I2 to be equal to minus of Ix. So the value of Ix is I1 by 2 with a negative sign. So I'm going to put the value here. So this becomes minus I1 by 2 divided by I1. This cancels out and I will be getting minus 1 by 2 as the value of the H21. So now we come on to the next pair of terminals. So now we have to find the other set of the parameters. And if you just check the definition, you have to go for I1 equals to zero. It will be zero whenever this port is open. And if it is open, then there will be no current that is going to come here because when the current is going to come here, it is going to find a infinite resistance here. So our this one ohm is going to get neglected. And so I have redrawn the circuit like this here. So I have neglected the one ohm resistance and I have drawn the circuit again. So now we have to find out the value of V2. If you just see here that it gets divided into two paths, so this becomes the series path two plus two. So that, that means four in parallel with four would make it to be two. So that means it will be I2 upon two I2 that gives me the value of H22 as one upon two MOS. Same value of V2 that we have just calculated is going to fill up our this value here. So I'm going to write here 2I2, but what about our this V1? So as I told you earlier also that V1 we calculate as we calculated our V7. You have to take the terminals out because this will be V1. So just rotate your pen from this terminal to this, you only get two. And let's say the current here is Ix. So that means your V1 value will be two multiplied by Ix. And now you have to calculate the value of this Ix. If you just see here, this is I2. And this is getting divided into two equal resistances of four ohms each. So again, the value of this Ix will become equal to two multiplied by half of I2. So that means now V1 will be replaced with the I2 value. So this I2 and I2 cancels out and we get half over here, right? So this completes our four set of the parameters. But one thing, if you have noticed that in Z and Y parameters, our Z12 was coming equal to Z21. Y12 was coming equal to Y21, but in this case, H12 is coming negative of H21. These are the conditions of reciprocity.
if you people are asked in any quiz that what is the condition of reciprocity for any of these parameters, then you have to go for these values, right? So now let's start with the ABCD parameters. So now we come on to our ABCD parameters that are also known as the transmission parameters. And why we will be discussing a little shorter when we are going to discuss about our interconnection of the two board networks. So these are the transmission parameters also. So now for ABCD parameter definition and equations, we are going to have our V1 and I1, that is both the voltage and current of the input port as the dependent variables that will be depending upon the voltage and current of the output port. So here it will be your V2 and here it will be your I2 on which they will be dependent and we are going to put A, B, C, D here. But there is only one change that here we have got a negative sign here, right? So now let's define all the values of A, B, C and D. Let's define them. So my this A will become equal to, you have to only pay attention to here and make this equal to zero. So this will become V1 upon V2 for I2 equals to zero. Similarly, C will be equal to I1 upon V2 for I2 equals to zero. When will I2 be equal to zero? When we are going to open your the, these terminals. So you have to calculate when they are open. So now we have to find out the other two parameters. So these are the definitions of our B and D. Now mind here that there is a negative sign and that negative sign is because of that present in the equations. So now let's start solving the numerical based on our ABCD parameters. So now we come on to the numerical for your ABCD parameters. This is the T type of circuit we have got with one ohm, five ohm and two ohm and as the branches. So now, we have to find A and C parameters and for that I2 is to be made equals to zero. I2 will be equal to zero only whenever these output terminals two and two dash will be open. And if these terminals will be open, just see here, then there will be infinite resistance over here. And so over this thing is going to get neglected. There will be no current that will be flowing in our two ohm resistor. So I have redrawn the circuit like this here. And now we have to calculate the value of V1. If you just see here, V1 will be equal to 1 plus 5 into I1. That becomes equals to 6 I1. Now, what about V2? As I told you earlier also, because the terminals are open, you have to just extend them like this and then move your pen like this. So it will be equal to 5 multiplied by. Now, just see here, the current here is only I1. So it will be equal to 5 into I1. So after putting the value here, I1, I1 cancels out and I will get 6 by 5 as the value of A. Now the same value of V2 is going to be used here again. So it will be 5 I1, I1 is here. So I1, I1 cancels out and I will get 1 by 5 as the value. And now the units will be moves here. So now let's find out B and D parameters. So now for this case, V2 equals to zero. So that means we have to short circuit the two output terminals. So after shorting it, I have redrawn the circuit like this. Now for calculating the value of V1, you have to just see here that two and five are coming out to be in parallel and then in series with one. Whole multiplied with I1 will give me the value of V1. And what about this I2 that we are going to put here? So again, it will be the part of I1 that is coming in this branch and your this I2 will be equal to negative of Ix. So let's find both of these values. So I have just calculated the value of two in parallel with five plus one as 17 by seven into I1. And I have calculated here the current division rule I have applied. Total current is I1 that is entering multiplied by opposite branch resistance divided by sum of the two resistance that makes it to be seven. So now let's put the values in our this B formula. So this is negative already. So I've just put the negative sign there. So now the value of V1 will be 17 by seven into I1. 
and now the value of i2 that is equals to minus of 5 by 7 into i1 now this i1 i1 cancels out 7 7 cancels out this negative sign cancels out and i will get 17 by 5 ohms as the answer so now let's find out the value of this d so in d i have got i1 as such and what about this i2 same value of this i2 that we calculated here will be used here so putting the value here cancelling i1 cancelling the negative sign will give me the value of 7 by 5 as the answer for d so this completes our abcd uh, parameters also so now we are going to just indicate some important points for the circuit to be reciprocal as well as for symmetry conditions. So now we come on to some important, important conditions and they come in your uh, some entrance examinations or in your quizzes as well to find out the value of some parameter. So we will be doing a small numerical based on your these conditions as well. So firstly, we will be going for the reciprocity conditions as we have already discussed them. Here it will be Z12 equals to Z21. Here it will be Y12 equal to y21 and here it will be h12 will be equal to minus of h21 and this condition is important because you can calculate your any parameter from this condition so next is the condition for symmetry that makes it to be z11 equal to z22 y11 equal to y22 and here the determinant of H matrix, that is you have to calculate the determinant like this, this minus this multiplied by this will be equal to one. And in the last, it will be A equals to D. So if you are calculating some values of any circuit and A comes out to be equal to D and you people are asked in the question that find out whether the given circuit is symmetric or not then just concentrate on the value of this if a is coming equal to d you will say that it is symmetric or if you are calculating y or z parameters then your y11 should be equal to y22 so now a small numerical based on the abcd parameters so now you can get a question in any quiz or entrance exam like this. You will be given three parameters and you have to find the fourth one. And you are given that given system is a reciprocal circuit. So what you are going to do is you have to put the condition that we just discussed. And that was your AD minus BC equals to one. Put the value of A, six by five. D you have to calculate. Then put the value of B that is 17 by five and put the value of C as this equals to one now just you have to calculate the value so let's solve the value of d so i have just calculated the values here in decimals so you can see here that 17 by 5 is 3.4 1 by 5 is 0 0.2 and here it will be plus 1 so this gives me the value of 1.68 while 6 divided by 5 will give me 1.2 d so calculating the value of d will give me the value of d as 1.4 so that means this is how you can calculate the various parameters using these conditions so that's all for now just practice some more numericals on two put networks and for any doubts you can just message me thank you so much